Yeah, people keep saying to me about um, about Lenny McLean, uh, he would have beat you up easy. No, he wouldn't have beat me up, mate. No, not at all. Um, when I when I when I had two, I had two or two or three fights, easy fights, knocked him out. I was with Jimmy Stewart, it, knocked him out. And then Frankie Warren phoned us up uh, one day and asked me if I'd fight Lenny. I said yes, I would. So it was all range built thing, this that thing. I uh, went down the rainbow. Uh, fought a guy called Brian Hall, eight rounds, come become a draw. Met Lenny McLean as I jumped out of the ring. We had a few words. Lenny was about, well, I don't know, 15 and a half stone. I was a little bit more than that because I've come out of prison a lump, but I've been training very hard, yeah? So Lenny's saying, oh, I want to fight you, this, that, and the other. And I said, we'll sort it out with Jimmy to it, Frankie Warren and Big Andretti. Right? And I started sparring Lenny a little bit and all that, yeah? And then people keep saying to me, oh, I bet he'd have killed you. He would not have killed me, mate. Lenny McLean would not have killed me. Lenny McLean would not have killed me. I'd have beat Lenny McLean, yeah? I'd have beat him. I know I'd have beat him, yeah? Anyway. And all of a sudden, he ain't... He, well, Lenny McLean, the time that I knew Lenny McLean, he wasn't no one. He wasn't... Where'd he come from? Where'd he come from? If He weren't no one. He done maybe two fights, the same as me, or two or three fights, he wasn't no one, he, uh, you know, Frankie Warren made him who he was, Frankie Warren pushed him forward, Frankie Warren pushed Lenny McLean forward, and then after that, Lenny McLean, he had about, I don't know, what, 12 fights, 13 fights, lost about seven or eight of them, I don't know how many he lost, but he lost loads of fights, he's no, he was, he was, he, listen, the fights he lost, you didn't really see, right? Frank, okay. Oh, yes, you did. Mark Cliff Fields, uh, uh, Warren, and uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Johnny Waldron, Frankie, and uh, Cliff Fields, and Kevin Paddock. Then I'm not, I'm not. I've seen a few, and all this, that, and the other. But then you get people uh, uh, going go on YouTube saying he's boxed someone in over in America. He boxed someone in Scotland. And he didn't. He never, he didn't do that. That he never done that. That's maybe in his book, but he didn't do that. He never done anything like that. That's that's a lot of whatever. That's a lot of poo. That didn't happen. Forget that. It didn't happen. Listen, Lenny McLean is a legend. He is a legend. He was made a legend when he done his lock stop. Lockstock films and other films, he become a legend. He become a big, powerful man, which he was. Yeah, Reg Park got him on the roids. He become a big man. Mickey Phil, he worked with Mickey Phil. Mickey Phil was a big, powerful man too. And Lenny McLean works on the doors. Of him. Lenny McLean all of a sudden become massive. Yeah, swing fellas, uh, other clubs he worked at, and this and that. But he was big, powerful man because he's on the voids. But before that, he was at no one. Before that, he was at no one. He was just a normal person, like we all are, like we all was. But Frankie Warren made him. Frankie Warren made Lenny McLean the man he was. Without Frankie Warren, Lenny McLean wouldn't have been nothing. He'd have been nothing. He wouldn't have been anything, mate. Frankie Warren made him that person. Joe Paul... May Roy Shaw, but Roy Shaw, you've got to remember this, right? That Roy Shaw was a gangster. Roy Shaw's been in and out of prison all his life. DC ball stalls, everything. Fighting in prison. Hard, hard man. A respected man. Lenny, when has he been like that? He got done for a murder. I see him in Brixton. He was a state. They drugged him up to the eyeballs because he's a big man. If he went, and more smashed the nick up. You know, that's the only time. I don't know Lenny McLean has done ball stalls or recalls or DCs or anything like that. I don't know. I've not heard about him doing anything, but I've, I've not read his book. I mean, you know, people read his book saying this, saying that, saying the other, yeah? Uh, there's so many people uh, saying things about Lenny. They don't even know Lenny McLean. They don't know him. They don't know him. They don't know him, mate. You know what I mean? It, listen, this geezer, Lenny McLean, he's a legend. He's going to go on and on and on. 
all through, you know, his family and writing books about Lenny, his daughter, his boy made a film, and Lenny McLean was entitled to have all that, yeah? Was entitled to have all that, yeah? But I don't want people giving me comments, like, he'll, he'll bash you up, he'll done this, he'll do you, rail. Well, I know who I was, yeah? I come from West London all the way over to your lot and couldn't get a fight with Lenny McLean. I come miles, West London, Acton, Brentford, Kew, Amersfield, all round them areas. I was the governor round them, mate. I come from all the way from there over to that side to get a fight with Lenny McLean. And I couldn't get one. I couldn't get one. So, you know, I come from miles to get this fight and it never happens. It never happens. Uh, twice it never happens, and I used to go to the shows. I used to go to the shows and have row with Frankie Warren and Lenny. I used to go to the shows. I wasn't one of these person that sat back. I used to go to these shows. All these people that keep shouting him out about, they ain't got a clue because they don't. They, don't, they wasn't even born. Most of them. Most of them aren't even born. You got to remember that all these fighters are dead. They're mostly dead. I'm about the only one that ain't dead. You know what I mean? Paul Fitzgerald, I think he's alive. Mickey Mays alive. Who else is alive? There ain't no one. There ain't no other fighters are alive. Well, I don't know about Lou Yates. Is he still alive, Lou Yates? Even Lou Yates never got to fight Lenny McLean. Lou Yates, he didn't. He wanted to fight Lenny McLean. He never got to fight him. He fought Roy Shaw. He beat Roy Shaw, really. But Roy Shaw beat uh, one of the fight over a or something. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what it was yet. But, but come on, man. oh what! Well, sometimes you know, you know, Lenny McLean was a proper proper man, mate. Yeah, he's a proper man, and uh, you know, and Frankie Warren made Lenny McLean. You know, Frankie Warren is one of them people, and uh, you know, that can have a pussycat and make him a lion. And that's what he done with Lenny McLean. Not saying Lenny McLean was a pussycat, but I'm just saying it like the way things come out, a pussycat to a lion. That's what he made him, mate. He made him that overnight. Lenny McLean, he was made by Frank Warren overnight. Boom, that was it. You know what I mean? And, you know, all the fighters, they picked... It just makes sense. Sometimes, sometimes um, you know, um, as I say, I'm West London. I come from West London, you know, and uh, I've got a good name, mate, um, a good fighting name. Fight any, fight any man in West London, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, when I come, when I come over to, when I come over to, uh, Lewisham and all around there, I wasn't fighting no one. I didn't know who anybody was, you know. You know, to meet, to meet, you're meeting Eddie Richardson, Charlie Richardson and, and all that, you know what I mean? You're meeting these people that are proper gangsters. You know, I met gangsters over my way, uh, like, uh, Tony Lawrence. Johnny, Johnny Binden and all them people, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I've even met Joe Pyle years back with a guy called Mickey Francis years back. Then met him in the pub, you know what I mean? But you know, to go all the way over it, to to go all the way over to that side of London to fight, you know, you know what I mean? You know, and uh, you know, I just loved, I loved it, mate. I loved it, and I loved it, and it's nice to get a bit of respect. People, people go, yeah, but you're not, how can we give you any, we don't even know who you are, we have not even seen any of the fights. I just told you, I've got two, two or three that I've had, yeah, box on and, and two acts on the channel, they're the three that, that, that have been on. I don't even know about any of the others, they might have been, I don't know, but whatever it is, I can't find anything. You know, you've got to remember, I'm 74 nearly, not 24, 25, where it's all done by cameras, you know, and videos, them thought it's got a camera, blah, blah, camera, you know, but it wasn't like that in my time. The only ones it was like was through Lenny McLean, through, 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 through Frankie Warren, because Frankie Warren was with the papers, and Frankie Warren made, made it, he wanted to do it, he got there, he'd done what he did, he'd done the films, Frankie Warren, he got all the, come on, come over with this, what it is. And he done it. He made Lenny Lenny. You know, Cliff Fields should have been where Lenny was. Johnny Waldron should have been where Lenny was. But they pushed him aside. 
They pushed them aside. Frankie Warren pushed them aside because he wanted Lenny to be there. He got Lenny everything, Frankie Warren. That is what Frankie Warren does. He's a promoter. He promotes everything. Anyway, bang, 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 oh, nice one.